It's Warcraft Day. Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another Warcraft 3 replay request. This game is going to be a request by none other than Doja, who is spawning on the top right as the Pink Nidal player. He will be facing up against Remote, spawning as the Purple Human player at the bottom left. And I'm pretty sure I on Booster. Yeah, I have Booster on, but the overlay isn't picking up. Which is sad, and oh, there we go, there we go. Just had to uh, tap in and out of that for a moment there. So it's going to be Human vs. Nidals on Concealed Hill in their last encounter that we covered up uh, yesterday. That was on Last Refuge. That was one of the really, really good games I have seen. And uh, this is a series from the Washed Up League. Both of them have faced each other in multiple tournaments as earlier as well. Uh, Remote being a very popular member of the Clan Gym Discord community. And Dota has been a part of my Discord community, the Capital Z, since a long time now. Has been an active participant in most of my events, even including the Return to the Jungle One Day Knockout tournaments. Archmage is going to be the hero of choice for Remote. Dota going in for the Keeper of the Grove, okay, and everything looks very similar to as to what happened in the last game because of perhaps the spawning locations. Um, last Refuge and Concealed Hill do have somewhat of a similarity to each other when it comes to the spawning locations. Uh, the map um, dimension is slightly different though. The tavern is uh, nearby. Ready to work. Goblin Merchant expansion, which can be well, expansion is not really something that you can easily creep out. This one will need some effort and some units. We we're sending out a scout. That's not a scout footman. That footman is preparing itself for the fight over here. Archmage is out, and it appears that they he will start creeping with that footman there. Pull well, them. This time we got it. Going back with the Archmage there. Wants to get it perfectly executed, and he, I think he got it. No, I guess he didn't. The timing on the militiaman just wasn't at par. Here comes the keeper. Detonation on the archmage. Actually losing a good amount of mana there. A second wisp on the battlefield. Detonation! And the creeping for remote has been majorly disrupted. Remote is going to lose a couple of militiamen here, and will be forced to run back as Joda. He's currently trampling upon his army right now with the Keeper of the Grove, terrorizing him. Going to attack the Archmage a bit and gonna have to back out. Not, not gonna be able to do too much damage with that Keeper of the Grove, a solo Keeper of the Grove that is. Gonna need some backups, some firepower as well. And what do we have here? Doda is simultaneously creeping with Ancient of War, an Archer and three Wisps there. Because three Wisps will pretty much secure the life of that Ancient of War. A bit, bit of an over repair if you ask me, but as long as it gets the job done. Circular Nobility, a lovely item which Dota sadly will not be able to pick anytime soon uh, until his keeper makes his way back to that area. Archmage is lurking around in this area, going near the Fountain of Health now, and there we go, Dota detects it! A lovely detonation, and oh no, the Archmage! The Archmage! Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Lovely gameplay, gameplay there by Dota, and Dota is currently on fire. He has completely sabotaged Remote's early game right now. He went in, disrupted him from creeping this camp here, um, managed to get uh, two militiamen killed. After that, he attacked the Archmage a bit, made it follow the Keeper of the Grove around, and uh, as soon as the Archmage went near the Fountain of Health, uh, I mean, Timing and uh, having your wisps at the right location is everything there. Dota had his wisp at that location. He detonated it. The creep started attacking the Archmage, entangled it, and then it was down. Archmage is already back, by the way. It's a level 1 hero. Not going to take that long to revive. And uh, a lot of militiamen being pulled in. Does Remote want an expansion? No, that's not really the case here. Remote is actually taking up. He wants to creep the, a camp using them. And uh, he is simultaneously creeping at two locations to 
um, get uh, uh, how do you describe this? I'm not really getting the right words for it. I'm probably gonna figure that out some other time. But for the time being, he's trying to cover up for whatever he has lost. Yeah, I think that's putting it nicely. Remote is trying to cover up for all of the losses that he has made early game and uh, Dota now having some archers on the battlefield near the base of remote. Is he gonna go in for an assault? There is a arcane tower that he's gonna have to deal with but I think he's not gonna deal with any of that now. He's gonna deal with the militiamen and he's gonna try and take them down one by one while remote is creeping on the side of Dota at his green camps. Three of Ages is of course ready since some time I believe and uh, yeah the circular nobility is still not picked up by Dota because he is not back at his base yet and it uh, doesn't seem like he's gonna be back at his base anytime soon. Uh, he bought himself a nice little boots of speed from the item shop I believe because he hasn't been creeping out anything. That would be my assumption. Now he's going back to his base as remote is going in for the assault. A detonation uh, did get the mana drained away from that Archmage and a second Wispy attack need to be a bit careful to try and save it. Should manage to save it. And uh, Archmage in the back line there. Dota will go to work on that footman though. Doesn't really give a damn about the Archmage. This did get uh, either detonated or get uh, killed. Remote wants to come back with a vengeance. And now, oh no, the Archmage this time once again stuck, gonna have to use the TP if he wants to escape. And not lose the Archmage for a second time. Was it a panic TP? No it wasn't, he's going to TP towards the outer end and not get stuck inside. Tier 2 is ready, Mountain King is making his way out of the altar now and Riflemen are also on their way. And poor little footman gets stuck, Dota getting himself a nice little Naga Sea Wish that's going to be helping him out a lot in taking out units. Now Dota gonna pull in the contested camp in the middle. Perhaps try to get it stuck where exactly they want uh, to get it stuck. Big Fat Ogre taking a lot of damage, nice micro there. Going to stop it and going to cast Entangling Root on it as well. Tanking some damage on the Keeper of the Grove. I don't think he should be doing that. <gasps> Cloak of Flames. A lovely item, but not something that I would want to have on a Keeper of the Grove. Because that's a ranged hero. Uh, everything it wants to do is a bit far away from the enemy line. And something like this would be going well with a Demon Hunter or a Warden or a Panda. Or an Alchemist for this particular uh, meta. Which is going on with Nidal Flares. They go Keeper and um, Alchemist. So that may just sell it off, I guess. I mean, it's a pretty good item, but he can't exactly make use of it with ranged hero as effectively as he can make use of it with a melee hero. Remote going to creep out the Goblin uh, Merchant Camp here with the Mountain King this time. Having your workers harvest lumber over here while you have and have the lumber camp uh, well first of all want to have the lumber camp with some space this one has hardly any space right now so yeah your peasants are likely to get stuck we have a fight going on it appears that the keeper of the grove just hit level 3 after some creeping and is trying to engage put down a sentry ward that's going to be useful for him throughout the game there uh, remote gonna try and get a storm bolt off. There we go. Storm bolt didn't really do a lot of damage considering it's a level three hero against a level one storm bolt. Entangling root on that mountain king and the keeper will survive to fight another day for the time being at least. Naga see which is already at level two now. So we got um, cold arrow and no second spell just yet. Staff preservation being used on the hero to get it back to the base. Although I've I strongly believe he could have just ran back. I guess just get, getting it back was the prior Our forces are under attack. objective over there. And that circlet, Dota, pick up that circlet, man. Forces of nature now on the field. What is hightailing away? No, re engaging. Keeper of the Grove is in a dangerous position there. Remote now has enough firepower to take out those archers one by one. I 
take out the Huntress. Now targeting down the forces of nature, but here comes more. Level 3 on that Archmage. Now focusing on the archers. It is daytime. The moon wells are not going to be regenerating. Now taking damage on the keeper. Does have a potion of heal and uh, TP, so it should be fine for the most part. But I can't say the same about the Naga Siewich. Naga Siewich is a bit squishy right now. And if remote plans to target that, he may manage to take it out. Whoa, what do we have here? Tower push. Remote coming in with the tower push. Militia men, five of them on the... So perhaps as the second hero, if this is what he wanted to do. But of course, you are going to deal with the riots there. He isn't upgrading it yet. Come on, remote. Get it upgraded. Dota putting down APs now at the back line. And the APs are going to be up before the... Scout Tower is upgraded. This is a mistake by Remote. In the midst of the fight, he kind of forgot about up putting more towers and upgrading this one. And he's gonna lose the MK. A lot of damage. A lot of damage across. Cold Arrow and the Poison Sting from the Dryads will manage to take down that MK. And the Ancient of War has been uprooted to fight. A second one was put down over here, which sadly got cancelled. Uh, APs are going to be ready real soon, and the scout tower is of course not even ready. Angel War goes down. Naga Siewich. Gonna use the potion of heal. He needs to pick up that circlet. There's so much advantage that he can gain just by picking that circlet up and placing it the, into the inventory of one of those heroes. Angel War at the back, getting taken out. Finally, a rifleman being picked off. Level 3 on that Naga Siewich. APs are ready. And these APs will manage to push away the tower push. The remote needs much more power. He needs to cinch in the tower push. There's really no way that he can come back with this. He got adapt training on the priest over here. He should be using some dispop. But he ain't doing that. Doing a good job in targeting down the Dryads though. But he's also taking a lot of damage across the board. Remote, uh, I'm gonna say Dota now going to escape into that narrow um, defensive uh, choke point that he made for himself. But oh damn, lost the Dryad that he staffed away. Towers aren't going to come up for remote. I mean, not like this at least. Ivory towers would have been a better option. And even after they come up, the heavy armor is still going to take some good damage against uh, the piercing da damage of uh, the ancient protectors. Of course, towers don't have uh, fortified armor. They got heavy armor. So, they're gonna take some good amount of damage there and Naga Siewich almost getting taken out, gets staffed back. Remote refusing to give up. He's going to stick in the fight there. Isn't using any uh, any of the dispel though. Needs needs some dispels across. We managed to take down these Freans using dispel, then his life which will be much more easier. But no, that will not be the case as the Archmage gets taken out. MK is level 3, but without the Archmage there won't be the unlimited mana pool. The Brilliant Sora is so necessary for human players. Dota doing a good job of taking down those units and continuously staffing away his units and heroes to save them back to the base. It is night time, the moon wells will be regenerating much faster. But Dota is in need of the moon wells much more than uh, he uh, needed before. And come on, pick up that circlet. Somebody pick that circlet up. There's absolutely no reason to abandon it. There we go. Remote finally getting uh, some dispels down across uh, those priests. A lot of priests on the battlefield now, but you need some firepower to back that, uh, back them out as well. MK will get taken out. Level four on that Naga Siewich, and that will be GG.
lovely game there by remote and dota hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for all for joining me this was a replay request anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays cast for the replay request cast to know more about how you can send me your replay you can do you can join my discord server link to that is in the description below and on the twitch panel that's gonna be all for this video i'm gonna be